Hello, this is Padma, your social science teacher, who is going to narrate a story about unknown free freedom fighters of India. Today, I will narrate a story about Rani Abaka, the only woman in history to confront, fight and repeatedly defeat the Portuguese. Rani Abaka's unflagging courage and indomitable spirit are at par with the legendary Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi, Rani Rudrama Devi of Warangal, and Rani Channam of Kittur. Yet, little is written or known about her or her incredible story in the history books. Since the 17th century, maritime trade in spices, textiles, war horses, etc., had flourished between the communities of India's western coast and the Arabian Peninsula. With an eye on this trade, several European powers had been trying to discover the sea route to India. The Portuguese finally became the first Europeans to find a sea route to India when Vasco da Gama reached Calicut in 1498 AD after a long voyage. Five years later, the Portuguese built their first fort at Cochin. This was followed by the establishment of a ring of forts in the Indian Ocean region. This, long, this along with its superior naval technology put the control of all the spice routes to India into the hands of the Portuguese within 20 years of Vasco da Gama's historic voyage. For the whole of the 16th century, Portuguese dominance in the region remains unchallenged by any other European power. Trading in the Indian Ocean, which had been a free trade zone for Indian, Arab, Persian and African ships, now required a, a paid permit from the Portuguese. The naval superiority of the Portuguese meant that they invariably won against local rulers who rebelled against them. In 1526 AD, the Portuguese captured the Manglur fort. Their next target was Ulal, a thriving port town that, laid, that lay nestled between the verdant peaks of the Western Ghats and the blue waters of the Arabian Sea. Ullal was the capital of the Chautha king Tirumalaraya III. Feudatories of the Vijayanagar kingdom, the Chauthas, were Jain kings who had originally migrated to Tulu Nadu from Gujarat in the 12th century. As the Chauthas were a dynasty, the king's heir was his young niece, Abaka. The fearlessly independent princess had been trained in sword fighting, archery, cavalry, military strategy, diplomacy, and all other subjects of statecraft from a very young age. As such, when Abaka was crowned the queen of Ullal, she was deeply aware of the threat posed by the Portuguese presence on the coast and equally determined to resist it with all she had. Before his death, Tirumalaraya III had arranged a, a strategic marriage alliance for Abaka with Lak Lakshmappa Bhangar Bhangararaja the ruler of Manglur. As a ru ruler of Ullal, Rani Abaka continued to live in her hometown even after marriage and the couple's three children stayed with her. However, the marriage broke down when Bangara Raja compromised with the Portuguese. With an eye on Ullal's trade, the Portuguese had been trying to exact tribu tributaries and tributes and taxes from Rani Abaka, incensed and exasperated at the unfair demands, she refused to accede to the Portuguese demand. Her ships continued to trade with the Arabs despite attacks by the Portuguese, from Mogaviras and Bil Bilva archers to P 
people of all caste and religions found a place in her army and navy her efforts the portuguese began attacking ulal repeatedly the first battle took place in the year 1556 ad with the portuguese fleet being commanded by admiral don alvero de silveria and ended in an uneasy truce two years later portuguese attacked with a larger force and we and were able to ransack the settlement at ulal to some extent however rani abaka's masterful battle tactics and diplomacy strategy pushed them back once again during the next battle the portuguese army under general uh, joe pix coto attacked ulal and managed to capture the royal palace however rani abaka escaped before they could capture her along with her two, 200 loyal soldiers she raided the portuguese in the dead of night and killed the general along with 70 of his soldiers frightened by the ferocity of the attack the remaining portuguese troops fled to their ships by this time the portuguese had become alarmed about rani abaka's growing reputation inspiring other rulers when repeated frontal attacks didn't work they resorted to treachery a series of edicts were passed to make any alliance with the queen illegally her husband bangara raja of mangalore who also warned against sending any heir to ulal under the threat of burning his capital entrani abaka continued to dismiss the rulings with contempt and scorn the stunned portuguese now decided to send an antony de norona the portuguese of viceroy to attack ulal in some 1581 ad 3000 portuguese troops supported by armada of battleships attacked ulal in a surprise pre dawn attack rani abaka was returning was returning from a visit to her family temple and was caught off guard but she immediately mounted her horse and rode into the battle leading her troops into a fierce counter offense her battle cry save the motherland fight them on the land and the sea fight them on the streets and the beaches push them back to the waters echoed through winds as she and her soldiers flamingly arrows at portuguese ships while many of the ships in the portuguese burnt that night rani abaka was wounded in the cross fire and was captured by the enemy with the help of a few ch- bribed chieftains rebellious till every end the fearless queen breath her last in the captivity however the legacy lived on through her equally fierce and brave daughters who continued to defend tulunadu from the portuguese a warrior queen who gave her life in the defense of her freedom and motherland rani abaka remained a major throne in the portuguese side throughout her rule despite their superior military power this itself speaks volumes about the courage of rani abaka yet her splendid story remains largely forgotten by the history books There is a museum with this legendary queen of Ulal at Dakshina Kannada region and in the recent years her story has been been gradually coming into public attention Dakshina Kannada has been holding an annual celebration in her memory also that is Veera Rani Abakka Utsava from last few years so students you learnt about one of the bravest freedom fighters who lived in our state that is rani abaka thank you